Imagine a world where we no longer need oil, where nuclear power stations have become obsolete, and even solar and wind energy are a thing of the past. This vision is on a path to becoming a reality, here at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the United States. It is in this controlled access laboratory where fusion is generated, the so-called energy of the future, which could replace all other forms of energy. What we're looking at here is a breakthrough technology that brings fusion to be a practical fusion energy um, for use by humanity much sooner than I think than, than, than was there before. I was at a point around 10 years ago where I was like, I, I'm not going to see fusion make a difference to anyone in my lifetime. Bob Mumgaard was one of White's doctoral students and is now part of a team leading research at the Institute. Through an MIT startup, he's trying to find new avenues to put ideas into practice. The way that we like to think about it is it's a, it's a competition against time that climate change sets the clock, and we are running that race against that clock. Fusion energy fundamentally is the, the energy source of the stars. It's what powers all of the stars. Uh, it powers the sun. A fusion energy feels, you, you read about it in like comic books. And, uh, but you, know, you gotta remember that we're constantly innovating all over in all sorts of technologies. So how exactly does this energy of the stars work? Traditional nuclear power is produced by splitting a uranium atom thereby emitting energy. Fusion power, on the other hand, is generated by the merging of two atoms, and it can be accomplished with just two hydrogen atoms, the most common element in the universe that emits no radiation and produces no pollution. Scientists over the world have been working to advance this energy form for decades, the most prominent example being ITER, an international fusion mega project in the south of France. At MIT, its biggest progress in 30 years is thanks to this revolutionary magnet. This particular type of magnet is built out of an entirely new type of material, a new superconductor that, that won the Nobel Prize, actually, the material itself. It's a whole new tool, and in, when applied to fusion, means much smaller fusion machines. To make fusion useful, scientists need to trigger it in a way that yields far more energy than they put in. One way to accomplish this is by using magnets to contain the plasma, the fourth state of matter after solid, liquid and gas. It forms at millions of degrees and therefore needs to be carefully controlled, since the extreme temperature would instantly melt the surrounding infrastructures upon contact. This is where the magnets come in. So right now I'm pushing the plasma away from me and into the glass tube on the other side. And if I turn it around, it'll actually pull the plasma towards me, like this. So this is the way that you hold something without physically touching it. And that's the principle of which we use, except we use the magnets which you saw in there, which can make much, much stronger magnetic field. In the race against climate change, fusion energy could be a breakthrough game changer for our global energy future. The hydrogen atoms in just several liters of water could feed entire cities, an inexhaustible clean energy that is extremely cost-efficient. We can use it to make electricity, but it can also be used for many other things. Desalination, green fuels, uh, chemical processing plants, anything that uses energy is almost everything that we need. In the next few years, scientists and engineers are expected to develop the first fusion power plants the size of a tennis court. Their deployment in the world could begin as early as the next decade, in the 2030s. Fake news, noun. False stories that appear to be news spread on the internet or using other media. At France 24, our job is to provide you with information that's been verified. We check sources, we check facts, we sort what is true from what is fake. At the France 24 observers, we verify photos and videos circulating online. If they're fake, we let you know and tell you how we spotted them. In fact or fake, we dig into viral stories around Europe to shake out the truth from the trash. Every day, the InfoMigrants team scours social networks to fight fake news about the reality of migration. France 24. News based on facts.
Liberté, égalité, actualité.